Hello friends, my name is Theo and today we're going to be talking about the very exciting just released plugin called Nob Omniscope. This is another excellent plugin from the people at Time and Pixels and it gives us just a whole new world of scopes for not only DaVinci Resolve, but a bunch of other different programs. So before I get started just gushing about this, I'm going to tell you that you can get this for 15% off using the code Theo15 at checkout at timeandpixels.com. So since there's a high probability that you're going to see a couple of these features, just go click immediately off this video and go buy it. I'm going to let you know that you can get 15% off. And also it's an affiliate link, so I get a little bit of a kickback also. So I appreciate if you use that. Anyway, here, we're going to open up DaVinci Resolve since that's what most of these people watching this channel use. And you see we've got this nice little section of clips here looks great very clickable and now we can go down and see we've got our nob omniscope right here so we're going to go ahead and add this into our timelines so i'm going to go to our timeline section just so we only have to have one node to all of this alt s to create a new node i'm going to go ahead and drag nob omniscope connect which is kind of hard to say fast and here you see we've got processing mode gpu we can leave this 8-bit for now we are in a rec 709 timeline I'm just going 100% FPS 24. All this looks good. We can hit open display. And now you would normally have this on another monitor, but since this is a screen recording, I'm just going to be doing this all on one monitor. But really, this is a great thing for a multi monitor workflow. I will always have this open on my monitor to my left. So here we've got connect to DaVinci Resolve, which is very exciting, but also we've got Premiere, Scratch, Screen Capture, Image File, Video File, Signal Generator. Um, got a couple different capture devices here. And I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere that you could connect this to Photoshop, but you know we'll see. So we're going to connect to DaVinci Resolve. And here you see we've got, first of all, this is the wrong image in there. So let's play this through. There we go. Just had to refresh it some. So there we go. Now we've got a false color. So if you've watched this channel for a while, you know that I already love the false color plugin that Time and Pixels makes. So here, this comes with that already. So if you're on the fence already, you don't need to get the false color plugin. You can just get this and you get the false color in there we've got our typical waveform and vector scopes but here go up to scopes and you see we've got all these different things so we can have a source in here so you know it'd be just like our normal video source that we have over there you can of course dock this in different ways there we go so you can have that which is pretty nice to have like right next to things on the same monitor but here are some more interesting things one of my favorite ones is the 3d color cube so this you can rotate around and see this is a red green and blue axis but this is also a really great tool for learning. So let's hop back to our nodes page. And if we move this, like say offset really far towards green, you can see just how much this moves our whole little plot up right clipping along this green axis. And then also you can see how the offset compares to something like just moving the gain all the way towards green. You can see that moves in a completely different way. So let's bring this back some. You can see it's sort of tilting this whole thing up towards green. So you can get a really good idea of how your different color controls actually work if you're learning the software. This is a really great thing to know. So there's that. The 3D color cube is probably my favorite scope on here just for interesting stuff. But there's also things like saturation versus luminance. This is pretty cool. So as we increase our saturation, let's just see. You see this increases more and you see we are Let's go ahead and increase our contrast some so we can really see what's going on here. You see down at our blacks are nice and clean. You see they're not very um, saturated. And our whites are pretty clean. They're not very saturated. And our midtones are very saturated. So if we moved our gain to something crazy, you can see this saturates our highlights a lot. And the same thing with our lift. See now our shadows are very saturated. So that's a very nice tool to use. We can obviously dial this back to something more reasonable. So, so we bring it in like this and then maybe give it a little bit of that sort of vintage flare. Now you can see we're lifted up a little bit down here and let's go ahead and just give it a little more of that early 2010s vibe. There we go. And you see that is looking very nice. And of course if we like this we can go ahead and just dock it in here. We'll go ahead and add it into whoo, this guy. We can put our color cube inside this guy. So now we have tabs available also. So now you can see just how powerful this is. And even inside of these, we can change the scope and we can also do things like show rings, show vectors. Don't want any of that. You can add in some zoom. There we go. I like to have my vector scope zoomed in some. And here we can see even more settings. So you see this plugin goes really, really deep. This is the scopes plugin 
that should be shipped with DaVinci Resolve. Let's compare this to the DaVinci Resolve scopes. So down here we have waveform and vector scope, histogram, and CIE, and parade. And you see we have like some options here. YRGB, pretty cool, YCBCR, pretty neat. Change some intensities. But really compared to all of the different options that we have in here, it's pretty insane. So once again, we have these same ones, RGB Parade, RGB Parade, RGB. And now let's also look at other stuff here. We can just select this part of our image and we'll do this with our source signal. So I'll go ahead and just dock this right in here, nice and easy. And now we can look and see how our skin tone is doing. So you can see up in our waveform, just what that's looking like. And also in our vector scope, let's see if we can, yeah, really just brighten this up so we can see it on the tutorial, and then we can go ahead and just exit off this, and they can see really clearly, just right where our skin tone's at, sort of right on that line. It could maybe come a little green. You see, she might be looking a little, like a little magenta, but I sort of like female skin tones to sort of skew a little on the right side of that skin tone line, and male skin tones a little on the left of that skin tone line. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks. And then we can also see like, what's this background green color looking like. And it's great for just these really fine detailed adjustments. So very, very cool. So that is just a few of the cool things in the Nob Omniscope. You can of course save your layouts. Let's go see some of these preferences. My goodness, got ACES support. We can change our ellipse to a rectangle, which I kind of like, let's change this to rectangle. Performance settings, let's look at all these. So. I'll probably end up making more videos about some more of the specifics of this, but just to keep a quick overview of this, you can now see Nova Omniscope is available from timingpixels.com. Use the code Theo15 at checkout for 15% off and for giving me a little kickback. That's T H E O 1 5. And, you know, like I said, this is something I'm going to use all the time. If you're someone who likes scopes or just likes feeling more confident about your grading decisions, this is for you. If you just think it's fun, you want to check it out, they have a free trial. So it's worth that too, also. There's no need to just take my word for it. You can go ahead and play around. Like I know there's a lot of people that really want better multi-monitor support with DaVinci Resolve. And this is something that gives you something very useful to put on another monitor to just always have open. So anyway, once again, this is Nob Omniscope version one from Time and Pixels. Use the code Theo15 at checkout for 15% off, T-H-E-O-1-5. Once again, I've been Theo with Meissner Media. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.